Hi, this is Dr. Colhain from Mercy College's Environmental Science Department in Rio 304 in the lab. We were extracting methane from the chuck inner tube that had been created by the biodigester using this drill pump to pull it out so we didn't have to squeeze it or press on it. And it was overheating this. So that was a three-quarter filled chuck inner tube and it ran for a good 12 minutes so it was using up our battery and it was really heating up both the motor here, this is very hot, and the drill pump itself. So we aren't going to use that. Instead, we'll use this uh, pump, this uh, regular water pump with a float switch. And so I'm going to light here. And there's our flame. And this works a lot faster, as you can see. Let me turn off the light for a second. we can really see the biogas flame as it comes out. So there's no question that an inner tube's worth of methane, which is one day production, this is 24 hours of uh, 500 grams of sugar. We introduced the 500 grams of sugar at 6 o'clock p.m. last night, Sunday night, and today is Monday, and it's just after 6, and we are producing a prodigious amount of gas in merely 24 hours. So I think we're, we've demonstrated fairly conclusively that the indoor IBC tank based home biogas system can be really effective for any kind of cooking or even running an electric generator. We're going to use this portable camping refrigerator with a very small flame and we'll see how many hours we can run the refrigerator and now the gas is out. So. So thank you very much uh, for Solar Cities. I am Dr. Thomas Henry Culhane, the environmental science professor at Mercy College. And your name is? Jan. Jan what? Kusayev. Jan Kusayev. Thank you, Jan Kusayev, for filming this experiment. And we look forward to seeing you in Envisage Mercy, the Mercy College Environmental Sustainability and Justice Club. Thanks. Yeah.